In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about information overload and why my view is that action is the ultimate antidote to information overload. So this video came about as a request from one of our subscribers, Gloria, and I put out a message in my Facebook group as I was creating new videos, asking what topics my members wanted to see. And Gloria raised her hand and said she wanted me to do something on information overload. So thank you for the suggestion, Gloria, and heads up, welcome to you. This is an interesting question for me because it reminds me of the quote by E.E. E. Cummings that these days we are drowning in information, but starving for wisdom. And I can remember quite distinctly about 15 years ago, as someone who'd always been an avid information collector, book reader, just getting to the point where I realised there was absolutely no way I could possibly stay up with the flow of information that was making its way into my inbox, that was appearing in bookstores, and that it would be more than a full-time job just to keep up with all of the information that's out there. And so I remember very clearly thinking at the time, okay, I'm not going to try to keep up any longer. Basically, I'm just going to make decisions about what I want to do and trust that the right information is going to make its way to me at the right time. And I've got to tell you that thought, making that decision has truly, truly served me because what it helped me to do was really focus and it helped me to focus and redirect my attention to the outcomes I was looking to produce in my life, not staying up with this flow of information because a lot of the information that is out there isn't relevant to what you're doing right now. Now, most of the people I help, you're here because you want to get more clients, you want to make more money. I work with coaches and consultants, trainers, therapists, very much people in the transformation business or helping business. For you, really, if we're looking at what needs to happen in your business, if your ultimate game is to get more clients, make more money, then there's really only three things that you need to focus on. One, you need to focus on generating leads, finding people who could be interested in what you have to offer, making them aware that you exist. That's step one, lead generation. Step two is conversion. So that is actually turning that raised hand into a paying business, turning that interest into commitment, getting people across the line, getting them to say yes. And then the third step is increasing the value of every single customer. And that means that, you know, if you have a client that comes in and they're spending $100 with you, how do you get that client to spend $200 with you? $400 with you. Now, I remember getting really clear on this. It was around 2006, 2007, getting really clear on this. And I actually listed out those three areas and I was like, right, okay, what are all the things I could do in each one of these areas right now that would create this result? of more leads, better conversion, increased value per customer. And I listed those things down. And then from looking at that list, I decided what is my priority going to be for the next 90 days? And at that moment, the first thing I decided to focus on was I realized I had figured out how to get some leads in and I had figured out how to convert those leads into paying business, but I was leaving a lot of money on the table. And actually the best profits for me at that moment in time would be to increase the value per customer. So let's say I had a hundred clients who were already paying me about 500 a year. I'm making up this maths, by the way. I can't remember what it was at the time, but let's say that's what it was. 100 clients paying 500 a year. If I could get those clients, instead of spending 500, to spend 1,000 with me, then that would actually double my business. It would double my revenue. And so what that did was it made me get very strategic and very focused and actually focused on certain strategies rather than trying to do everything. Trying to be like my friend Ann Wilson says, an octopus on roller skates. And I have to say it really, transform my business. Because first of all, I felt massive relief that basically I wasn't telling myself that I had to keep up and do all of these different things in my business. It was like, it's not that I'm not going to do them, but I'm just not going to focus on them right now. And it really enabled me to focus on that one key area. And I did some really cool things in my business. I added in some higher value offerings. I launched my first ever year long mentoring program. And that was really exciting. That income stream alone added an extra over a hundred thousand pounds to my revenue that year. I launched a couple of new higher price programs. And sure enough, I think that year I actually tripled my value per customer and I tripled my sales as a result. So it was a really, really exciting time. But it, what really taught me was that it's not about trying to keep up with all the information. It's about getting really clear and focusing on what's my outcome right now? What am I focusing on for the next 90 days? And really having the discipline just to focus on that and really then the courage to let all of the bright, shiny objects just flow right past me. And my advice, Gloria, given you asked the question about information overload, is that many people get stuck with the bright, shiny objects because they're telling themselves that there is this bright thing. It's like there's one magic pill out there and they need that thing. And, and I've got a different view. I'm like, 
Guys, in business, I've been in business for over 25 years. Listen, just focus on these three things. Get more leads, get better at converting the leads into paying customers, and then get those customers to spend more with you. If you just do those three things over and over, you're going to have a business that consistently grows. Now, you are going to have your inbox, your newsfeed, your social media accounts filling you all the time with suggestions that something else is true, that there's something else that you need, there's some missing piece. And then it's up to you to actually have the courage to go, no, this is my plan. This is what I'm focused on. Now, the other thing that I will say about information overload is when I have noticed it in clients and when I've worked with clients who are getting very stuck and they're not moving forward because they're in sort of perpetual information gathering mode and they're agonizing over making a decision, very often that's a fear about about taking an action and doing the wrong thing. And so I wanna offer you a different view on that and I'm gonna cover that in the next video.